Uh, we're saving this shark, guys. We're saving it. Ah, psycho! Trooper's getting mad because the shark's swimming around. Hurry, hurry, no! No! Alright, guys, today is a big day at the Barber's Buzzin' household and in the tank room, but if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to the channel. This is our tank room right here. This is where we spend most of our time. We have other ponds and stuff that we take care of, and uh, we have a lot more fish, but this is our main, main, uh, main room here. So, the big goal of today is going to be trying to get our pet shark, which is in this tank, and transfer him into this tank. Now, it's gonna be hard because we have a vicious eel that will bite our fingers and take them completely off, and we have a grouper in there who just gets mad at everything. But the reason we're gonna be taking this guy out is because all this rock, we want him to have as much space as possible, and that is just more, more space. There's no rocks in there. So, we're gonna put him in there, but we gotta find a way to get him out of those rocks to swimming over here trapping him in here it's gonna be a whole process guys and we have to be extremely careful because this thing if he bites you he's got razor sharp teeth I want to get a close-up if I can in this video and show you guys the teeth on this thing they're little mini they're like miniature razors they will shred everything and anything and look at our eel yawning what's he doing you had a long day buddy you had a long day mr. Yeti and what about you what are you? This guy is just, he just so scared of the camera. So camera shy. But I'm gonna try to find the shark, guys. He always stays right in there. That's him back there, right behind the eel. I don't know if you can see him because the camera's focusing on the eel, but he's back right in there. There's his little head, but, there's his little head right there. But guys, do not be, do not think he's just some cute little fish. We gotta get him out, get him into here safely, Drip acclimate him and then release him into this tank. See how this goes, guys. See how this goes. This is gonna be absolutely, this is gonna be a difficult task. And guys, another reason we are getting the shark out is because whenever it's feeding time, the shark really likes to swim back and forth in the, in the tank. And I'm pretty sure the grouper thinks that his tail a fish. is a fish. The back of the shark's tail, it swims around like that. And the, uh, I think the grouper thinks that his tail is literally a small fish and he tries to like go after him. So we don't want any of that anymore. So we're going to get him out ASAP and make sure that he's happy and healthy and all good. So we're going to check him out when we take him out, make sure he's totally good. And uh, you know our vicious grouper, he's a psycho. He destroys everything. He's looking at his tail right now. The, the, the grouper keeps looking down by the shark right there and looking at his tail. And you guys are going to see the shark really good in just a second. I'm just telling you guys all the, what we're going to do and uh, the whole process. But All right, we're ready, guys. We got some nice tilapia filet right here. Nice her up. And uh, we are going to try to lure him out, but we got to get the smells on the right side of the tank. So we're just going to kind of get the tilapia in there and see if he starts swimming out. And if he comes over here, that's our time to strike for sure. We do not want him sitting in those rocks. The GP game plan is to have this feeding stick with tilapia. Chris is gonna work the camera and the... Oh, it's got hairs on it? Yeah, dog hair. Nice, we That's do not great. want uh, the fish eating dog hair. So, we're gonna put this on here, like so. A little better than last time. Chris is gonna hold it, lure him out. I'm gonna go in with the kill, get him with the net. Eel's just gonna take it, dude. Just get those scents in there. Oh God, Eel sees it, Eel sees it already. We just gotta get this shark out. Psycho, dude! Psycho! Right. Dude, this thing, I swear guys, we have crazy fish in this tank. Literally crazy fish in here. New bait? They will eat anything and everything. There you go, that's on there a little new bit. Bait, new bait, new bait, new Okay, yeah, he's moving. No, 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 not fast though. He's starting to wiggle. Now we're saving this shark, guys. We're saving him because that grouper is a psycho. Yeah, if you watch him. He keeps nipping his tail. Okay, but we gotta find the shark here. The shark is sitting right there. That is the shark. That little, little I bit right it, there. Dude. I stuck it. Good. So the shark is right there. Oh, oh you no, can even no. see the Oh, buddy. You, you can even. Oh, there's the shark right there. That's who we gotta get out. But we need him to start swimming around the tank so we can. Scoop him easily because I can't get him in there with the rocks. So we're trying to lure him out to over there so I can easily get him with this net. Look, the grouper is getting mad because the shark's swimming time. around. Okay, here comes the shark. Here comes the shark. Okay, this, is Chris, this, this is big. This is our chance. This is our chance. Get the net. Get the net. Hurry. 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 No. No. We missed our chance. Now we missed our chance. Now he's back. He's parked. He's parked. 
But as you can see, guys, that grouper does not like that shark's tail at all. We okay, okay. Sharks, sharks on the prowl. Sharks on the prowl. Hang on. Sharks on the prowl. He's moving. He's gonna swim. He's just gotta swim. He's just gotta swim this way. Should we try to get in there and get him? No, because the rocks. We're gonna bring out the whole structure. Okay. Sharks are there. Sharks are there. Sharks are gonna move out. Sharks are gonna move out. Jack, get the net. Get. Oh, he turned around. He turned around. He turned around. He's over here. He's over here. He's gonna swim that way. He's gonna swim that way. Can you? Can you? Can you get, can you get, can you get him on the feeding stick? No. Wait, okay, no, this could be good. This could be good, this could be good. He's right there. Okay, yeah. You've got to put it there he is, right, right there. Jack, Jack, he's right there. Lure him out to over here. I'm luring him out, guys. I'm luring him out. He, he's going to want that. It fell Chris. off. It fell off. It fell right off. Alright, guys, I had to set up the camera right here because I cannot hold the camera and try to get this shark out at the same time. So, you guys are getting a nice bird's eye view, alright? Guys, this is taking... A lot more time than we thought. He is not moving. He's like a statue in the middle of the rocks. This is actually annoying. It's annoying. Usually whenever he smells tilapia, he, he's cruising everywhere. And today, I think he knows we're out to get him. We had our chance, bro. We had our bite. Mission failed completely. We completely failed. And uh, we're gonna have to try again in a couple days or something because he is just glued to the side of the rock. We, want, we don't really want to stress him out all too much, as well as the other fish. So, we're going to try again in a couple days, or maybe later today. I'm not too sure. So, we'll pick up this camera in a few. Let's go. I'm the man, baby. I am the freaking man. Chris is sleeping. Matt has got the shark. Get out of the net and don't bite me. Get out of the net, buddy. He's bite he was biting the net. Look at that. We got our shark out. Listen, it's the next day after all the scrummaging around in the tank trying to get him out. I said we're gonna pick up the camera in a couple days, a day or two. And uh, I came in here, it's like 10.30 in the morning. He's sitting on the right side of the tank where we needed him the whole time. Came in with the net, scooped him up, got him in here. So I'm gonna drag him over to here and start drip activating him into that tank. Guys, look at the pattern on this shark. Just look how amazing that fish is right there. It is insane. He's almost done drip acclimating, probably another 10 minutes. But just this thing, I mean, you can kind of see what the grouper did to him on the sides of his fins right over there. I mean, nothing too severe or too traumatic, but this thing is going to be so happy. He has not stopped swimming in this bin. In there, he was just inside that rock cave, but now he has all this sand right here to just swim, thrive, and live. He's gonna absolutely love it in there. Ugh. We are done drip acclimating, so now we get this net, and I'm gonna put him in this tank. And we're gonna see how he does in here. So hopefully this goes really smooth and not too much stress on him or I, because I do not want to get bit by this thing. So buddy, please cooperate. There you go, swim forward. 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 Okay. We've got him in the net. It's exactly. Oh, look, he was biting it there. He's biting it. He's, he's actually got some serious teeth. Okay. This is going to be the hardest part because he might be tangled up in here. Oh, he's out, baby. <laughs> look how amazing he looks. He's going to be so happy in here because he's not going to have any rocks to bump into when he's swimming. He's just going to be able to free swim back and forth. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the crumbs falling off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's gonna absolutely love his life in here. He's pacing back and forth. No one to chase him around other than those damn damsels or chromies. But uh, those things, he's not gonna be able to catch those things. People at Barrier Reef said that they're just they're too quick. He won't be able to get them, and especially if we keep him well fed, which we do. There's just no way it'll happen. So. <laughs> All right guys, so it's been like all day since he's been in here. He's been just swimming all day. I think he just is so happy. And as you can see, look at his tail and his dorsal fin there. That's from the grouper just really fighting with him. 
So I'm really happy we got him out of here and that he's going to be a lot happier in this tank. He's got a bunch of space just to swim back and forth. Like, he was up on the surface even, so I'm, I'm stoked that he's in here. Like, just swimming around. We're going to see if he's going to eat because he hasn't eaten. He barely ate yesterday. So we're going to drop a piece in and just see what happens. Oh my god. You guys better watch out because that shark's coming to get it. Let's see if he smells it. Oh, he smells it. He smells it. And he ate. He ate. There we go, baby. <laughs> he's stoked. Yeah, he loves it in here for sure. He definitely loves it in here. Swimming around. I can just see he's smiling right now. He's just smiling. So happy. I'm very happy for you, Bruce. Actually, should we rename him? Let's get a vicious shark name down in the comments. I want a nice, awesome shark name. Throw it down in the comments because I want this guy to have an awesome name. Just take a step back and look at this tank right now. We got all of our chromies in here, and he's not going to mess with these guys. He is a bottom feeder shark, and he can't even catch them if he tried. So we're going to have some schooling fish, and then our bottom feeders on the bottom. No rocks and everything in here. Tank's looking really good so far. And uh, he's a great addition. So he's going to be awesome. It gives us a little bit more room in this tank to get some other fish, like uh, Mufasa maybe. That's what I think. All right, so that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. hope you guys like our shark. Comment down below what you guys think we should name him, because I want an awesome name for this thing. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.